In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a Pantone color to an existing InDesign document without using Pantone Connect or the Pantone Connect subscription. So the first thing you're gonna do is open up an InDesign document, new one, existing, doesn't matter. I'm assuming that there'll be objects on the document to color. And if so, go ahead over to the swatches flyout and choose the menu here in the upper right, the three layer menu, new color swatch. You're gonna uncheck name with color value. Very important, choose spot as your color type, won't work without doing that. Then the color percentages that you'll want, it could be CMYK or RGB. In this case, I've chosen CMYK. See us for the values or look for them online. So for example, the swatch name in this case, because I want to use Pantone Reflex Blue C. If you don't have a Pantone chart, by the way, again, see us, colors could look dramatically different when they're printed versus how you see them on screen. So just consult us about that. The word Pantone in the color name needs to be all caps. This is a named color, not a numbered color. So go ahead and give it a the name, space, and then the C or the U value, whatever you've chosen um, from the charts. I'm going to, these percentages are more for you visualiz visualizing the color on screen. The actual percentages are going to be replaced on press based on the color name. That's why that name and the spot designation is very important. Go ahead and click add and you'll see it there now with that spot icon. Now I'm going to show you how to do a numbered color. Same thing. Let's say we, don't, we wanted 626C spot. This is a green, so we're going to add some yellow, darken it up. Again, you can search online for the actual percentages, um, which will be replaced, but just to help you visualize, hit add, and you can see it there. Then go ahead and color things as normal. You can see, you can even do grayscale images as long as you're highlighting the image itself, not just the container. You can color it like that. Then export it as a PDF and send it to us. Now, the details of how to export it, I've covered in another video, so if you need that, feel free to let us know. Otherwise, that's how you can add a Pantone color without the Pantone Connect software. Thank you.